Marlin gets so into his character that he had them actually shrink him down to two feet tall. They put him in a little machine. And now he's shrunk down to this little character. But then, uh, for some reason, he keeps shrinking. I would never have gotten in there and had him shrink me like this. And the machine that's supposed to bring him back to his normal size is broken, so he keeps getting smaller and smaller. How tall you think you are now? We can't really see you in this chair. I mean, I'm telling you, you should see this. Is that one of them rhetorical questions, man? What's he gonna do? He can't do anything about it. How about I climb up your ass and punch you right in your heart? I feel bad for him. Now, we're having trouble seeing you. You keep it up. I will crawl right inside your pubic hairs, and you have a man crab on you. You ever have man crabs? Maybe I'm the size of your little pecker. Maybe I should ask your wife how tall I am, brother. Actors, they like to sacrifice for their art. You know how, like, De Niro, when he did Raging Bull, he gained weight? People like uh, Russell Crowe for The Insider. When John Savage was in The Deer Hunter, he lost his legs. And, uh, you know, John Travolta in uh, the movie, he was, he, he was that angel. Though I don't think he really character choice was to be as fat as he was. De Niro, that's easy work. I could get chubby. Everybody like to eat. Halle Berry, I could, <laughs> I could have sex with Billy Bob Thornton. Can you get small, baby? Jamie Foxx, hey, brother, <laughs> I could be blind, but can you be small? I hope that they get that boy back to what he was, because Sean and Marlon are real tight. And I fart in his face constantly. Now, he's smaller than his babies. I can't even pee. I got to sit down on my, my son's potty. We went to a Disneyland, and he couldn't get on the teacups. I got to drive uh, uh, my son's matchbox cars. It's really freaking me out, because the other day, I was carrying him to lunch in my hand, and then he, um, he accidentally fell into the salad. He's really hurting about that. And I actually almost ate him. So that means no more clubbing, no more dancing. Might get stepped on. You try having sex with your girl. Every day, I try having sex with my girlfriend. You know what happened? Got lost up in there. Good news is, having another baby, found that out while it's up in there. So now, uh, the interesting thing is trying to get Marlon back to his actual size. There's a piece to the machine that they can't seem to find. You know, I, I solve problems, but I don't know how to fix this machine. I think they make it in France or China, somewhere in Iraq. Have a cadaver, hocus pocus, whatever the hell they gotta say to make me grow back my height, they better do it. I'll never work with these people again. My career is over. I'm suing Sony, I'm suing Revolution, I'm suing the, the Wayans people, Keenan, Damon, Sean, Tito. I feel bad for the brother. Uh, I hope uh, it's a good career thing, because this is it for him now. Oh, he can work now. Don't think he can't work. You know, he can work on the Wizard of Oz, if you know, they do the Wizard of Oz again. There's a circus, there's, um... Oh, I know it'd be good for him. Wrestler, he can wrestle. Yeah, I'm trying to be upbeat. He comes to me for pep talks, but I'm not a good guy for that. And I'm tired of those guys. They talk about they my friends and how poor Marlon Paul is. They all laugh at me, but they don't know. You watch. He's just such a great guy and such a committed actor. So I'm hoping that Alex is going to fix this machine and get him back to size. Um, they need you back on the set. You want to hop on? I'll give you a ride. Fine. Come on. Hey, be careful. You drop me, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna crawl right up your nose and rip your nose hair out one by one. 